Why? Why is the lady so loud? Oh my goodness. Okay, I think that's... <laughs> all right, all right. The lady has been dealt with. It's actually, it was a pretty serene song, but we can't have her interrupting me at full tilt while I'm trying to explain what's going on here. So we have her quieted down for a bit. Hey, get Brock here. Today we're going to be doing a video on Out There, Oceans of Time. It's a video game. As you can tell kind of by the formatting, this is in fact a sponsor segment. To be blunt, I'm being paid money to play this game. So full disclosure out there right out of the gate. Interestingly, however, uh, a friend of mine, Gage, was actually looking at this game already, and we were already kind of interested in it, and then the sponsor segment was offered to me, so it actually ended up working out quite well. Because this game actually appeals to a lot of what, well, appeals to me, and by default, since you know you watch the channel, might appeal to you. It's an exploration game where you, you, know, you go out in space, semi-roguelike to a degree, and you deal with RPG elements, decision-making, resource management, and you, you, know, you, you fly through an ever-expansive space. This one specifically also has a background story element that kind of guides the overall journey, though you can kind of you know, go on detours on your way to the end goal. The sponsorship opportunity kind of coincides with a new update, launching the, the official launch of this game, with the Redshift update. A lot of new systems, overall difficulty balancing changes. We have, there are new oxygen systems on the planets, encounters, ground system has also been overhauled with new tunnels, ancient portals, structures, and all kinds of things. Your team skills have been updated in this update. There are a bunch of new map or tile sets that you can now explore instead of new skills for your team, right? There's, there's a lot of team building in this game. And, and these asteroids are getting really close to the ship, by the way. Is that making anyone else nervous? And you also have a bunch of new endings that you can now explore. You know, Mass Effect 3 style, but hopefully the endings are actually unique, right? Well, I guess we'll find out. And uh, the graphics have been updated a fair bit. Once again, if you're interested in playing this, go hit up the link down in the description. And uh, we'll, we'll roll into it, right? Uh, I, I think it's better to show instead of tell. If you, end up, if you do end up buying it, probably likely today, October 17th has a 20% off. Save a little bit of money on what is functionally already a fairly cheap game. All right, we're in it. So you can see, I'm gonna go quickly over some of the mechanics so you can understand what is going on so you have an idea. I played for a little bit and I honestly thought I was in the, tutor in the tutorial, so I was rushing through things a little bit. So my morale is completely in the gutter. And I was like, oh, well, we'll exit the tutorial at some point and we'll actually start the game. No, I actually exited the tutorial almost immediately. And uh, yeah, what's up? <laughs> so, large objective today is going to be uh, making our crew moderately more happy uh, so they don't revolt and kill me horribly. You can see there are story elements and sort of quest logs on the side and uh, one of our objectives is to bring what appears to be a forager, some kind of alien, uh, I believe it's a crew uh, personnel, back to the ship or this place I'm at right now and then stuff will happen. The systems in this game are fairly simple. Right now we're in, you know, space mode, right? So this is the, the, the far out map. We can zoom in or we can, you know, press keybinds, right? So zoom in. We're in a solar system right here. <laughs> Had to check this one. We're in a solar system right here and we're parked. We're parked, there we go. We're back. We're parked next to this thing. This game has a unique way of saving, actually, where you need to find what is functionally a save point. So, you know, kind of old schooly in that regard. And you can save at that save point. So if you blow up, you'll revert back to this save point. You can't just hit escape and then, you know, save. So that's kind of neat. That's why I'm, I'm here right now. In terms of resource management, uh, cargo of the attempt. We have this sort of, you know, once again, old school style resource management system where the inventory actually takes up physical spots in your inventory. And the subsystems of the ship, so this is the drill, this is our this is our jump drive, functionally speaking, a telescope, this is our hydrogen probe, this thing like you know scoops energy from gas giants and such to fuel the ship. All of these take up spots within the ship, and as you get bigger ships, you get more slots. Right here I have some unused slots, I have an unused inventory uh, spot, so I can like, you know, let's move my hydrogen over. Let's move. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. That uh, brings us to the other point, right? A lot of these systems, right? This hydrogen gives us fuel, so I can drag it in here. Uh, iron repairs our hull. 
And oxygen obviously can be converted from its elemental state, I assume it's in solid form or frozen or something, uh, and put into you know our oxygen tank. And now we get oxygen, right? There's a conversion rate. Cool. So let's go do things for a Get me out. Let's go. As mentioned, I may have rushed through the opening bit of the game while learning it, assuming I would get out of the tutorial. That is not the case. So mm. we can, uh, we're gonna need to, uh, to work on some things here. So I'm gonna assign this guy to the drill. From what I understand, if you assign someone to something, it, uh, it kind of makes them better at that thing, right? So for example, I've, I've had this guy on the, the anomaly machine, the, the scanner, and uh, he's he's leveling up on it, but I'm like, uh, now that I've done stuff, I think I want to put him on the drill. Similarly, mm. I have her on the hydrogen probe because I was having gas issues, but I may switch that at some point. Uh, we're, we're having some, some health low issues, and I think it's because I blew up the med bay by accident at one point, and I never repaired it. No, we do have a sick bay. Okay, let's uh let's get started. Enough enough yibber yabbering. Oh, you can we can turn on the helmets. Nice. So let's go somewhere. Uh, we just came from this location, and that's where a quest is going. And right now we're looking for a primitive on a village on a garden planet. So we're here. Let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, no, too much, too much. And uh, we have a gas giant. We have a rocky planet and a garden planet and the storage array, which is where we can save. We also have the the white dwarf in the middle. In theory, I'm, I'm believing we can get gas from that, right? H2, uh, uh, we can get helium or hydrogen from this, but I, I think you need an ultra probe, otherwise you die horrifically. And if we go there, you can see in the top right, we take one to 57 hull damage. I think we're gonna skip that for now. But we can go, for example, to this gas giant. Cost us a little bit of fuel. But we can also get fuel from here because you know it's uh, from the atmosphere. So we're gonna we're gonna send a probe in with full energy, and we get 16 hydrogen in return. So, not the best scoop, right? We spent a lot of energy, but we got a little bit more back than that. And we also, you know, had our probe get damaged, which is unfortunate because we have no iron on board. So we should probably go get some some uh, some iron. So, oh, I keep zooming out way too much. So, we can go to a rocky planet. Rocky planets typically have iron. So, we'll go do that right now. Fly on over. This honestly just looks like a moon with a, a little bit of atmosphere. But we're going to head on down regardless. It's very pink. So we're going to drill, same deal as the probe, we're going to do a full power drill because we're not hurting too much. And boom, 13 iron. We're going to go, actually we can do it like this, we're going to go repair this guy. It pulls a little bit of this and then we can grab the rest of the iron. We can repair the hull, but we don't really need it right now, we'll keep this for repairs. And that's really it. Uh, you, you don't really want to drill more than once, I think, unless you get some more skills for it. Because drilling, like, like it's like a limited resource. So I drill the first time and I get, you know if I'm guessing, a value somewhere between 70% and 100% of what I can get. And then the second time I drill, I'm only going to get like 20%. And because it uses energy and risks damaging the drill, it really only makes sense to drill like once. Okay, so this is kind of, for the lack of a better term, a complete shithole. So we're not going to get off of the ship. We're going to go to a different planet. Uh, we got a garden plan here. All right, so that was actually one of our objectives. We need to find a dude garden planet to go complete our mission so off we go uh, and yes if, if you're wondering I do realize our morale is in free fall we're at 15 the way we uh, the way we fix that I believe is we go to a civilized planet and then you know the people get out and it's like oh cool I'm not cooped up on a little cockroach looking aircraft here and I can go around and uh, get my morale up in theory I think we'll find out Okay, so we're going to scan the planet to find a suitable landing site. You can see as the, the waveform goes to its ampl uh, maximum uh, amplitude, we're getting close. Okay, boom, and we got it. So, kind of a risky location, but we got to land, and we we, we got to find uh, we got to find that little little port to uh, to go complete our mission. 
And this is kind of where you're going to see the, the ground element, right? It's not just space stuff, we also do ground stuff with the characters we have on board. And, uh... So we also have a blueprint section. I didn't even know this existed. Congratulations, you're coming on the journey with me. So we already have a telescope, we have a hydrogen probe. Okay, we have basically all of this. I thought we got a new blueprint at some point. No, I guess not. Okay, sweet. Oh, our drill got damaged. Excellent. Okay, but we, we remember we got that iron from earlier, so we have 11, fix it, we're down to nine. Sweet. Okay, this is where we do the, the uh, expedition stuff. So we disembark. We only have two. We only have two homies. So we can add to part. Add to part. Add to part. Yes. I know. Okay. So um, I'm getting. I'm getting hit up with the tutorial right now. That's, I'm good. Yep. Yes. Cool. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna regret not paying attention to any of this, uh -huh. but you know, this is how we do uh, it. Uh huh. Right. You know, when you're a kid, you got Legos, and then you refuse to do the instructions. That's basically this. Okay, so this um this very much reminds me of XCOM uh, a little bit, right? Because you can move around uh, and you're in a top-down point of view. Your characters have skills, and then you can move around a certain number of tiles. The map is indicating that all the way down here is something we might be looking for. I believe we're looking for a village and then also some resources. So let's move around. I believe. Um, our, our lady here, Nyx, has a skill that allows us to check for hostile tiles. And boom, we see two of these. These, these look like, um, tiles that will, uh, like, kind of environmental hazards, so we don't, we generally want to avoid going through those if we can. So we're gonna keep moving. I believe this is something, I get we plants from this, I believe? Yeah, we get, we get plants. I have no idea what plants do yet, so... We'll find out. Uh, I, I, I had a bunch of plants earlier, but I gave them away on a planet. So, I don't think we can go around... Oh, there's... Actually, we'll, we'll go up here and get some supplies. We found... Looks like ore. Minerals. Okay. So, we can process these, or we can trade these on planets. Which, you know, if you've been paying attention at all, we really need to go to planets, because our people are very depressed, and morale is in the gutter. This is sounding a lot like another series I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go through the, the thing, and we're probably going to get hurt here, right? Nope, we did alright. So I think that means a 25% chance and not 25% damage. Alright, good to know. Found more vegetables, uh, which is good. Okay, let's continue proceeding to the target site. And we did get hurt again. Sweet. Okay, let's go into this little civilization mini-city. Our expedition party finally arrives at our objective, a primitive yet opulent city. Covered in golden onyx. We're greeted by a god king. Excellent. With strangers capable, or recognizes us as strangers capable of destabilizing their hold on their subjects. They welcome us into the palace, but we quickly come to realize we are not welcome here. Take a power inside a revolution. Aw. Oh. Damn. What do we need to do that? Okay, we need... I'm assuming we need that type of person, right? If, I'm guessing, right? If we look in the bottom, he's this class, and he has three action points. She's this class, which allows us to do a thing. And we need another type of person to do inside a revolution. We're gonna... We're gonna take a power and see how that treats us. Our survivalist, unmatched... Okay, so she's a survivalist class. Is unmatched in combat, and... Oh, shit, we, we're engaging them. Whoops. Uh, and we take down, or we bring down their god king. We take the throne and perform a form of democracy, but we're not entirely sure this novel concept will take lasting roots here. Whoops. Uh, the population, terrified by the swift and inexorable change of rule, offers us many gifts. Oh man, I think we were kind of assholes. <laughs> Lost an action point, we got an omega, and a thing. Okay, so we can call down the evacuations, but let's look around. I, I think there's more stuff on the planet. Uh, maybe not. Oh, no, no, okay, we can go this way. Get some more plants. We're fairly healthy, so we can risk going through these things. Okay, so he got hurt with a debuff. and But he, I believe he can uh, fix that. Oh, I need to actually use these abilities. Whoops. 
So I'm gonna do this thing, and it'll show us where a chest is. Cool. So this guy's like a like an exploration dude, it seems. Okay, this is a passive, right? Okay, cool. And then, okay, uh, when he takes damage, I'm able to heal it because he's bleeding for going through um, what appears to be underwater things, but on the surface. Neat. Sergio. Oh, we can blast through this. Sweet. I believe we have the action points to do so. Nice. And then we, we're going to head up. Head up here. What did we get? And we got four minerals. All right. I think it's time to leave. We'll heal it so I don't have to do it on the ship. And we're out of here. Yes. Overcomes our cockroach vessel. Cool. Hey, morale went up. Okay, so I guess they don't like being cooped up on ships and going on planets also increases morale. And we got a bunch of resources, so awesome. Expedition and... And then we got this new uh, Omega substance. This is like the super substance, I believe. Uh, so we're, we're just gonna... Uh, can we... Okay, hold on. We can we can make some room here real quick, because I think we can process these marin uh, minerals real quick. No, no, no. We don't want to do that. Like that. Okay, we're just gonna go on manual. Okay, we'll just do automatic. Okay, we got tungsten and gold, I believe. Yeah. Okay, we don't really have room for gold. At the mo oh, no, we do have room for gold. We don't have room for tungsten, because that's where we're going to put... Um... Yes. We're going to... How do I go back to my resource thing? There we go. And that's where we're going to... Ooh, ooh, that is an unfortunate location. <laughs> Can this... Yeah, yeah, it should probably be up like this. Okay. Cool, so we got our Omega Substance. It's useful to... I'm, I'm guessing it sells for pretty well, but it also can, like, give us a lot of juice... Uh, can repair things. It's kind of like the do-it-all substance from what I understand. Alright, and then we let's get out of here. Fatigue. Okay. Uh, can only deploy it after several runs of stone. Okay, they're tired. Cool. Okay, they're both tired. Health is good. Awesome. Yep, yep, yep. Tutorial things. Yep, nope. Cool. Don't read the instructions. Let's go. And let's get out of here. Okay, so we need to go to another oxygen planet. That was a bus because we need to find... Or not oxygen planet. Garden planet. I call them oxygen planet. Um, let's just keep going, right? We'll go to this this red dwarf thing. Through the wormhole! That looks like it's out of interstellar. Fuel tank low. Alright, really kind of a bust. We can go to this rocky planet. I don't think we're going to land, actually, now I think about it. We don't really need any more iron, right? Let's take a look at our inventory. Yeah, we have 10 iron. We don't really need more iron. Um, we do need to find a garden planet. So we'll go to this white door. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we have a save point. We'll come back to that later. Let's go grab... We'll go grab all the orbital resources, and then we'll go down to the garden planet and... Try to find a, a dude so we can complete the mission. Assuming we can go, my guys might be a little tired. All right, let's go max probe. Okay, 19 hydrogen. Yeah, we're just going to use it immediately. So you can see, I had 19 hydrogen and um, converted at a ratio of 1 to 2. So 1 hydrogen, 2 gas. So once again, this is kind of like drilling. Uh, you don't really want to... Unless there's like a, a tech or something, or a talent... I don't believe we want to we want to harvest multiple times. Hey, look, you can see the save point flying by. Um, actually, we're how are we doing on gas? Do we have any backup gas? No, we don't really have any backup gas, so I think we're gonna hold off on that uh, for the time being. I don't have any blueprints that I can build. Right, I was looking at that earlier. Yeah, shields, whatever. We have a reactor, we have a geoscanner, we have a refinery. We don't really need any of this. Okay. So we don't really need the land. We kind of need gas more. 
Uh, and then there's a garden planet. Let's go check on our crew real quick. They are no longer tired. Okay, cool. So we can actually land on this thing. What we shall do. All right, let's uh, land. And if I recall, landing an oxygen planet should be your ass. That little cockroach craft. Yep, full on gas. We don't want to drill. I don't really think we need more oxygen, right? Yeah, we have 16. We don't really need to risk that. Oh, we can't land on this one. Hmm, okay. Did not realize that. I'm actually not sure why we can't land on this one. I guess we'll find out. All right, let's take back off. Maybe we have the scanner? Sure. Maybe it didn't have anything on it. Okay, that's just shame, I think. Don't really know why. I guess we'll find out soon enough. All right, and then we go to the save point. As you can see, this is kind of like, you, you kind of sort of get into a routine uh, when you enter a system, you do all the things, and then you decide if you want to go land or not. Uh, let's see. Let's just keep pushing deeper. Uh, I don't know if a neutron star is a good idea. Let's go to a blue dragon. Fuel tank low. Okay, we're a little bit low on gas, but good. We, we found a system to uh, gas giants, which is uh, currently, I believe, our primary way of getting juice. We'll launch a probe, full juice. And, Equipment damaged. And of course, things break, because why wouldn't they? But we had all that iron from earlier, so let's just fix that. All right, then we'll go to the other, oh, I need to work on my scroll control. We'll go to the other gas giant. Something I want to do is figure out how the tech works, because I want new things, and I would like a new ship with more room. I'm guessing I can, like, buy that on planets, potentially. Okay, so... let's see. Okay, that gives us full... So I believe you can actually... Uh, we're out of space. Okay, that's a problem. You know, we're gonna get rid of this Omega thing, because, to be frank, uh, I don't know if it's worth the space. Or actually, we'll get rid of our oxygen. We don't really need this. And then we'll trash the rest of it. That gives us room for... Mm, which one do we hold on to? Helium or hydrogen? Uh, I think hydrogen is a little more plentiful, so it's, it's worth storing it. And then we use this helium, and we're out of here. Okay. Uh, this system is a bust, I guess. Ooh, this is a uh, two-star system. That looks to be a black hole. I haven't quite figured out how you can tell what's on a system <clears throat> before, you know, getting to that system. So I'm kind of just blindly jumping between systems. I'm sure it's a di like a, a module on the ship. Ooh, okay. Um, do we need metal? I think we do need metal, right? Yeah, we're down to eight. We'll, uh, we'll top off. We got a lot of gas. And then we need to actually find, you know, a new ship, civilization, something. Drill, we'll do a full drill. We got thorium. Can we use that to build anything? Shield generator. We need two, right? We only have one. Yeah. Yeah, we don't really need any of this stuff, right? Because we we already have these modules. Yeah, we don't really need a sick bay. Yeah, don't really. Minus five. Okay, so sick bays actually give comfort, allegedly. Okay. Yeah, we we could throw this in our hull. Our hull's pretty damaged, and we're out of here. Okay, so we can scan this one. I'm not quite sure what allows you to scan versus not scan.
Okay, so we find the highest waveform. That's obviously not at the equator, so we, we go up. I'm so good at this. <laughs> okay, it's not down, it's up. So it's somewhere up here. Too far. There it is. Okay, we have uh, uh, the Bravo and Alpha Site. So we have minerals and blueprints on this one. How about the other one? How do I look at the other one? Oh, like this. And this one has Alien and Omega. Okay, so we probably want this one, right? Oh, oxygen required. I don't have any oxygen on board. I'm not quite sure how that works. Well, no way this is fine find out. <laughs> Oh, that's the worst. Complete asphyxiation and death. Alright, we'll start with the drill, because why not? We always want more resources. Get that iron. And we'll launch an expedition. It says oxygen's required. I, I don't know if I just bring oxygen. Okay, wait. Okay. I, I see why you may or may not want to leave oxygen in your uh, cargo hold now. Whoops. Okay, so we can't we can't do anything here, unless we really dislike these people. We can send them out of the airlock without uh, <laughs> without uh, oxygen. Okay, so we we actually need to go get oxygen in our cargo hold. What we really want to do is expand our cargo hold and stuff. Let's check. Oh, here we go. Civilization. Cool. I want to see. Can we turn this into inventory? No, this is a technology slot. And these are, you know, cargo modules. Okay, let's go to that, uh, let's go to that, uh, civilization. Uh, this guy right here. Look, it's a green earth. And then we'll go probably land, right? Yeah, and this increases morale, which is... At an excellent level, by the way. You know, gotta keep everyone on their feet at all times. Hello, fellow sentient beings. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We'll, we'll start with exploring the city. Or we'll start with... Yeah, so we got no rep. Let's explore the city. We arrive at a large plaza. Host to a public execution. Uh, maybe we'll give our low morale people there. Our Captain Revolt comes to the defense of the condemned alien, declares they're under a protection. Hmm. Not sure. Did, did, did we check what the crimes were? No, we just we just saved the uh, public execution, execution on a very civilized planet? Okay. We got... What did we get? Is that a giant mushroom? Can I look at my crew down here? No, I guess not. Oh, here we go. Uh, we want a forager. So yeah, let's... Just recruit him, huh? Mm -hmm. Welcome aboard, slimy dude. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna skip through this. If you end up playing the game, you'll see this story for yourself. Da -da -da. <sighs> Is he talking shit about our nostrils? Cool. So we grabbed this guy and super useful because we need him for the mission. Uh, we got a bunch of things for reasons that were probably explained to me. Okay, so I believe we need this thing. Okay, so this is what we do with plants. We go to the laboratory and throw plants in them. We can also go to the greenhouse and do things. Let's go to the laboratory. All right, let's uh, let's just throw it all in. Okay, so we put things in the greenhouse that we create here, gotcha. Place here flowers produce effects until it withers and dies, understood. Neat, all right, well, we'll deal with that when we're in orbit. Let's see what we can trade. What the fuck are you? <laughs> Okay, so that's what we recruited, a giant jellyfish with an eyeball. Alright, let's see what we can buy. We can buy a trinket. 
Okay, so this is that health thing we had uh, issues with earlier. Uh, you probably don't really need that, because both of our characters can heal. Whenever a point of interest is revealed, we get two plants. And a bunch of oxygen. Add a bunch of oxygen. Add a bunch of oxygen. Oh, we get more experience points. Ah, I don't feel like any of these are all that useful. Right? Uh, okay, so we get a relaxation pod. 20 plus comfort. I have yet to see the downsides of comfort or upsides of comfort yet, so we'll uh, we'll regret not getting this in about five turns when I realize what comfort does. Uh, tau stasis uh, da, 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 appears to increase the performance of our thing. I think that seems pretty useful. Let's see if we can buy that. All right, he, he wants things in return. Do we give him gold? Oh no, that's enough gold. All right, we'll give him a little bit of gold, like that, and then make the trade. Cool. Okay, so I actually already have some of these things. I need to go... Objects sought by the merchant. Okay. We'll, we'll buy the relaxation pod then. Let's do it. Cool. All right, and then I think that really is it. We don't, we don't really need any more recruit. Yeah, we can't even... We can't even recruit people. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go see all the things we need. So, we got a new crewmate. We got two new crewmates, in fact. We can assign this guy to, um, we'll put him on the refinery, right? Nice. And we can install a new thing, right? Relaxation pod. All right, so we need tungsten and carbon. We have the carbon, we don't have the tungsten. So we'll, we'll hold off for that on now. Uh, actually, we'll build another basic bunk for now because we we're, we're maxed out on crew so we might as well uh yeah we might as well we might as well have another bunk now we have room technology slot module slot uh we don't really want we, we kind of like our inventory let's uh let's do the rest of our plants right did i break it Oh, there it goes. Okay, I see. It, it's consuming our plants right now. Oh, there's a refined insert building. Okay. Um, transfer to the greenhouse. Alright, so our morale is really low. We probably want this one. We get 15 more morale for landing on civilized planets. We'll throw these guys in for now. That'll get our morale up and then we can get rid of them probably. Plus, uh, plus morale with five or more crew. We only have four crew, so none of these do anything. With performance of 60. I don't know what performance is yet, to be honest. All right, and then we'll throw this one when an expedition is completed. Cool. Oh, okay, so if we don't assimilate... Okay, so we can recycle these plants. Okay. Okay, it turns it into oxygen. Got it. Cool. So we got our, our plants in our little greenhouse. Neat. Alright, let's uh I think we get moving, right? We can install we could uh, install a relaxation pod if we find tungsten. So we we'll probably do that to counteract our really low um, comfort levels, right? Because we built two of these, which is minus five comfort. Because I assume it takes up space on the ship and, you know, there's no room and stuff. Alright, there's also a, a garden planet here, so let's, let's go over to that. And remember, we need to grab oxygen so we can actually go on other planets. Uh... Alright, scan it. What did she say? She said something's low. We got aliens, Omega. All right, let, let's just go down for fun. We technically already have our alien that we wanted for the mission, so we'll be heading back that way. But might as well get some more aliens. 
Isn't everyone basically an alien? Like, the chances of actually finding a non-alien is... Human, basically, is impossible. Alright, so we got our oxygen. So we'll, we'll save that for later. Oh, it's saying fuel is low. Yeah, we got plenty of fuel. We can, we can actually just... Slurp it. Slurp the... Alright, let's do an expedition. So we'll bring all the homies. Yeah. Actually, we don't want to bring the forager because um, we need him for the mission, so... Oh, the morale is too low, he doesn't want to come? You nugget! You literally just... Okay, whatever. So I think if we do this expedition, we get a lot of morale. We'll see how that goes. Alright, so we'll use our abilities. Uh, reveal two hostile tiles. And I don't, I don't know how useful that ability is, to be honest. It uses one of her action points. Uh, we do want to use this one. That one does seem useful. Okay, let's go, let's go explore. Alright, so we have some plans here. We want to go this way. Probably up, yeah. So we have to go through the thing and get screwed. All right, we didn't take any damage. Run, won the dice roll. Right, we took damage this time. That's okay. We got the two Healy boys. We use our health thing, and we're good to go. All right, this is where we want to go. Right here. Right. into the temple. We come across a terrifying, terrifying sight. Uh, a vast well that seems to extend the center of a plant. Organic fluid. Primitive tribe have made it a local ritual to sacrifice creatures. Everyone is sacrificing stuff. We spot a cluster of cages and find a lone extraterrestrial being concerned by the fate awaiting this fellow. We consider what to do. We can rescue him. We can launch a direct assault. I'm assuming launching a direct assault um, basically uh, has higher chances, and the covert rescue is like using no skill points, so it's basically a coin flip. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's launch a direct assault. Fearless, our survival rushes forward, yelling at the tribe, kill some, throwing others in their beloved well. Okay, so we're <laughs> I think we're killing more people than we're saving. Oh, okay. Through their valor, a Though their valor is truly spectacular, even though they stumble to a halt at what occurs next. A monster serpent with fiery eyes rears his head up out the well, terrifying and magnificent. The survivalist rallies and then turns the might what the the survivalist rallies then turns the might of all their weaponry upon their beast. Okay, um I don't think it's plural. Though it is a near thing, we rescue many of the caged beings. It is likely our actions have permanently ended some of their kind. A barbaric ritual. Better still, the serpent contains a great deal of Omega. Nice. One Omega. Sweet. Oh, what the heck did we get? What are you? Okay, so we got another survivalist type. Cool. Actually, that's pretty sweet. Uh, it says it reveals a tunnel. I'd like to... Okay, there's a tunnel over here. We'll, we'll go check that out. And we also have a cargo container down here. How do we get there? Might have been through this way, right? Yeah, right. We'll, we'll go up here, get the plant, double back around. <laughs> what are you? It appears to be a plant being... A Segway plant. You guys remember when Segways were like super popular? Maybe I'm dating myself with that, but I remember Segways came out at some point. There is a garbage truck outside of my door. When Segways were super popular and everyone was like, Segways, the next big thing, you're going to get everywhere with it. And I have yet to hear of a Segway in modern history, right? Are those still even a thing? Oh, our buddy is bleeding. Um, can we heal him? Caster. Okay, so that only works on yourself. That only works on yourself. Okay, that's... He lost some health. Bummer. 
Can the uh, semi, can the garbage truck please go away? Ooh, it's another village. How do we get over here? No, 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 no. Might be all the way up here? I don't know. Whatever, we'll go to the village first. Enter the village. Enter the village. There we go. Uh, it's another plant segue. And we're, we're saying words that don't make sense. Oh, no. Uh, yes. Amazing. I don't really want to recruit anyone, I don't think. Because we're, we're kind of full on room. Right? Yeah, because we recruited this new guy. Trade. Um, we want a tungsten, right? Yeah. Cool. We got the tungsten. Nice. Alright. Let's bounce. See a Segway plant. Random aside, have you guys had this new Nitro Pepsi, like, draft cola? This stuff is really good. It's like nitrogen infused, and I have to be careful not to explode this everywhere when I open them. <laughs> okay, that was a close call. Alright, uh, I poured that drink with a little more fanfare than you typically want when pouring a drink. I don't even know if I can talk about Pepsi shit, like, on a, on a sponsored stream. Whatever, we're, we're doing it. X end this expedition. But yeah, for the record, pretty good stuff. All right, we got our tungsten. Let's go build a thing. Blueprint. Okay, we can't build this yet because we don't have enough. What is HF? I don't actually remember. I am a terrible... Oh, half... Hafnium? That's a thing? I guess it is. Yeah, I am a terrible material science engineer, by the way. I don't remember Hafnium at all. Uh, where, where was it? We wanted a, uh, a thing, right? Over here. Relaxation pod. Wait, no! We need four, we have three, and we don't have room. Alright, let's, let's gobble the plants. We'll gobble the plants, and that'll give us room. Everything inside. We're fine instantly. Transfer to the greenhouse. Any of these good? Yeah, so it only goes straight to the oxygen. We don't get new oxygen. That's annoying. Okay. We'll go back, yeah. Die flowers. We'll put our tungsten right there. Boom. Through the wormhole we go. Can I make this go away? Or is this just going to be in my face this entire time? It's going to be in my face. Excellent. Um, We're kind of full on stuff, right? We want iron, so we don't, we can, we can skip that planet. We'll keep pushing to the objective. Let's go. Is that a supernova? Neutron star. Okay. I obviously don't know my stellar objects very well. Yeah, no, neutron star would be a dense uh, a dense blue one, right? Because all the, the atoms have collapsed. See, I'm trying to salvage this, but obviously. All right, we don't need oxygen, so we, we're going to keep pushing. Can we, can we make the jump? Yeah, we can make the jump. Let's go. I want a new ship. Can I have a new fuel ship? Tank low. Yeah, fuel tank low. I know, I know. I know. I know. Do we have... Oh, actually, we don't have any reserve. I thought we had a bunch in reserve. All right, we should probably fix that after this. Yeah, we got 34. We, 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 can, we can... I own a Jeep Wrangler, so I know all about stretching gas to the absolute limit. <laughs> all right, let's land. All right, once again, we're going to skip through the story, because the whole point is that... You get this game and watch the story yourself, and then, yeah, so. Huh. Hull integrity low. Hull integrity low. Excellent. Alright, tell me what you know, person with the big nose. Oh. This guy looks like a budget Riddick guy. <laughs> I have all the information I need. I think it's showing me, yeah, it's showing me the objectives that are very far away. So like I said, we have, uh, oh, we got a new suit.
Alright, so we have a very far destination to go. All the way over there. So, oh wait, there's two locations. Okay, so, pick one, go to it. We'll, we'll probably go to the one that's 43 light years away. First. Fuel tank low. Alright, can we please have some gas? Ask and you shall receive. Cool. Alright, we got a lot of things down here. Now we'll go get gas first, and then we'll go explore the, um, the different planets. Let's drop a probe. Crank it. And we get 20, so... Oh, look at our gas. We're down to four. Amazing. Um, yeah, we might as well just scoop everything. Let's do it. Let's do it. Amazing. Fuel tank low. Yeah, it's gonna use a lot of our fuel, gobbling all this stuff, but we don't really have that much iron left, so we might as well. Let's drill. We'll use it all. Equipment damaged. Of course equipment's damaged. Probably built by the lowest bidder. Alright, and we'll, we'll... We'll just keep it like that. Do we have room for silicon? Yep. Uh, didn't we need half hafnium for something? Uh, how do I get to... Yeah, blueprints. This guy, right? So we need tungsten and hafnium. Um... We haven't really used gold, have we? Can we just get rid of our gold? <laughs> right? Like, wh what really uses gold? None of this stuff uses gold. Yeah. Yeah, we, we can get rid of our gold. Which is sounds awful, but, you know. <laughs> Alright, cool. And now we can bring this in. So we're going to use our tungsten first on that comfort module, and then our relaxation pod, and then we can use it for the other thing. Sweet. Yes, I know, lady. My fuel tank is low. I'm bad at managing resources. You don't need to rub it in my face. Hi, welcome to Get Brock Sucks at Video Games. Today, featuring fuel management. Like I said, I own a Jeep. I'm just basically going all to the planet so we can gather as much resources before going to the, the civilized planet because, you know, these are all tradable resources, you know? Hull integrity, low. Oh, stop. Uh, I don't know if we want to do a full drill here. We'll do a half. Okay, we got carbon and we get some oxygen. No, don't put it, don't put it on the... Oh, I guess we... Bloop. So we are quite bingo on fuel. Incredibly so. No. Fuel tank low. Alright, where where's the civilized? Yep. Right, I'm gonna be very disappointed if I land on this planet and it, we can't trade for for uh hydrogen. Alright, alright, we, we might be stranded. Please, for the love of God, have hydrogen on board. Okay, we got some. Okay, we got a lot. Okay, give me, give me. Hull integrity low. Stop whining. All right, um, let's get rid of our. We want, we want that because we're building a thing. We want the helium. Okay, so this, this improves our performance. We do kind of want that, right? More. Hull integrity low. Are we taking? We're not taking damage, right? It's just complaining. But we'll throw this guy in. Okay, never mind. We, we, we don't have room for this thing. So we'll just put that back. And then I guess we can take back some of our... Fuel tank yes, low. I know. Fuel tank's low. Okay, make trade. Cool. And we can just put that straight into the gas tank. There you go. Excellent. And then let's go ahead and repair our hull. Um, We'll do it with most of it, but we'll keep we'll keep a little bit, just in case for repairs. Alright, we're in a less precarious situation now. Excellent. 
There's nothing else to trade, right? Yeah, we don't really. Yeah, whatever. Can we trade this for this? Okay. Um, give him a little more copper. There we go. Yeah, because I this solar sail seems really useful. Cool. Awesome. All right, let's explore the city and hopefully not watch someone get sacrificed again. Loses all their equipment. What? Oh, how do you just do? Fuck. No, we just bought it. I love this planet. All right, I, I don't think we want to recruit anyone, right? Because oh, we actually have room. Sure. We can buy a crystal, man. Devotion. All right, so you can trade. Reveals resources. Okay, so you can transfer health. Removes one negative effect. Yeah, that seems kind of boring. Takes 10 oxygen from the oxygen reserve, but you get two more action points. That seems useful. Um, oh, we can put this guy on the drill. Yeah, let's recruit this guy, because drilling seems very useful, right? Recruited. Alright, we're full. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's take off. We're still kind of miserable on resources, but our morale is not terrible anymore, so that was good. I was going to install that new solar sail, but somebody dropped the blueprints for the solar sail on the floor, so that was, that was excellent. Truly amazing. Um, we should, we'll just keep pushing to the objective unless we see... This looks very much like a kill you planet. Right, we'll start with the drill. Full chooch on drill. Okay, so we got the tungsten. And we also got the iron. We can just put that straight on the hull. And at that point, we can also build the thingy, right? A relaxation pod. Boom. Pod has been created. Thanks, pod. Oh, drill broke. Nice. Yeah, this uh, Omega substance seems like a very good get out of jail card, right? All right, let's do an expedition. So we do need the oxygen. Oh, we only have three because we sold it all. Uh, can't we... Here, I, I think there's actually something we can do. Ah, uh, whoops. Every time we move. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Yes. Okay, so we... Okay, so this these guys actually bring oxygen. I see. Okay, let's give them some. Why can't I give? Okay, so he doesn't. Have, we don't have the equipment type they need. Uh huh. Uh, uh, we'll bring this guy. Uh -huh. Okay, so we actually didn't need oxygen that one time. Good to re good to know. Sacred ointments. Sure. Why not? Wait. Do we do we even want plant boy? Do you even do anything useful? Not really. Honestly, this two hostile tiles doesn't seem like that useful of an ability. <laughs> this guy has T. This guy seems useful, right? Because we get the the thing that lets us see better. So we'll bring we'll bring Big Nose Man, and then Hidden Shortcuts. Yeah, this guy's cool too. Oh, we don't have any more supplies. This guy. Wait, wasn't this guy also useful? Yeah, yeah, we'll bring him too. Let's ride. Okay, so we need to be careful about our oxygen consumption. So this guy finds a tunnel, right? Or did we forget the tunnel man again? Because it doesn't really... Oh, okay. Some of these abilities use oxygen. All right, we're going to want to use this one. Improve vision. Okay, so we want to move up and then blast it. We got experience. Really? You go walk on a rock and you get experience? Okay. Uh, ooh, there's a lot of environmental hazards here. A 
lot of environmental hazards. Except we're rolling the dice pretty well right now. Sweet. So what are you? These are ancient stellies, are important for archaic civilizations. Your xenolinguists will probably be able to teach you about them. Okay. In we go. Decrypt. Do we have a dude? Yeah, we do. And we found a portal. I think that looks like a portal. Let's go to the portal. Hopefully we have enough oxygen. That's that's the only concern. I think we take the cave and it probably brings us over. We'll, we'll grab these resources over here and then we'll go into the cave. Yes. Uh, let's go around. That seems a little closer, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, we're gonna push to the cave. Let's do it. Please don't get hurt. Thank you. This doesn't seem like a terrible idea, but we're doing it. Oh, wait. No, okay, that was an entrance, not a portal. Okay, what is this? That looks like a crashed vessel. Our expedition comes up across a wreckage. Okay, yeah. Appears reasonably intact. We have only begun our exploration when we found the encounter of the... Cr or the reason of the crash. The ship was being transported... Or transporting a dangerous predator. My god, I can't read. Perhaps some kind of bioengineered weapon that escaped. We found ourselves barricaded in the engine room with a terrifying bloodthirsty creature on the other side. Kinda wanna restart the engine. Like, fighting back? Yeah, you know, you kill the thing. Let's restart the engine and see what happens. Uh, Sergi... Uh, yeah, we'll do Sergi. Our engineer finds a small spy flu, restarts the engine, causes the beast to flee. The ship contains nothing useful. Ah, oh, boo. Oh, ultra probe technology. Hey, we need that. That's what lets us harvest the, the big planets. Nice. Okay. Cool. Let's walk along. Is this grass? Our oxygen's starting to run out, so we need, we need to think about leaving soon. Oh, here's a little town. Strong to call that a little town. Looks like a trash heap, but, you know, whatever. Oasis. Oasis. There we go. Oh, okay, so you, you, you can recover here. Um, probably just get more oxygen, right? Nice. The best trash heap ever. Although, kind of a... Oh, here's a here's another thing. Okay, I see. Oh, amazing. Through the fire and flames. Okay, so what does this do? Takes one oxygen from the reserve. Okay, whatever. We don't need oxygen, right? That's not important. Alright, that's gonna guzzle through our oxygen real quick. Okay, we're gonna get this and then we're out of here for sure. Our oxygen's critical. While seeking a down satellite, our expedition draws near an area that experiences a near constant rain of falling meteors. Thrown from the orbit of the asteroid belt, seeing the continual atmospheric barrage gives us pause. One asteroid striking the wrong spot will mean certain death for us all. However, this satellite was rumored to contain important intel. Send the survive list. Create a shield. I think create a shield makes sense, right? Yeah, we'll send the survive list. Survive list with unparalleled reflexes. Darts through it, return before we know it, prize in hand. Cool, what did we get? We lost two action points. Solar cells, hey, we got it back. All right, we're gonna use this effective drill skill and then we just leave, right? Cool, that gives us a bunch of, yeah, 15 of that stuff. All right, let's get out of here. Come, cockroach vessel. Yeah, a bunch of leveling up. Cool. So I can give him more health. 
reveal tiles. I don't really think this ability is that good. Uh, healing, that seems useful. Oh, and more action points. I'm going to give him more action points. And healing. Or actually, HP seems very useful, at least early on, to just have more uh, buffer before you get screwed. Alright, I want to see about that Ultra Probe and installing that. That seems to be really useful. Alright. Oh, we have a lot of minerals. Let's uh, let's process that mineral stuff. Right, put them all in. Automatic. Silicon, cobalt. Alright, let's let's get rid of this oxygen. So we have room. Iron, copper, or actually I think transfer all, right? Like that. Cool. Um, can we just throw the plant straight into the refinery? Or the, the plant refinery? Transfer the greenhouse. What do we get? We want, like, can we get something other than morale? It just doesn't seem... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I guess we kind of already have a, a pretty decent setup going. So we'll just recycle these. Plants seem kind of weak early on, but uh, maybe you do some stuff. Okay, so we need platinum and gold. That's what we're going to be saving up for this Ultra Probe thing. And gold for the solar cells. Okay, we really want this one in this tech slot right here. Okay, so four performance, eight performance. Okay, so this increases the range. This increases. Okay, so I think we want solar cells more. Yeah. Yeah. And then Ultra Probe. Neat. So this is basically an upgrade almost to our probe, right? Where, where's our probe? Here. Yeah, I assume we upgrade this thing. Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, where, where's my blueprints? Yeah, so we need we need a bunch of resources that we don't have yet. Is that it? I think that's it. Crew has been subject to intense schedule last day. Inform the captain they want to lighten the workload. Uh, I don't know if chilling for a bit is a good idea right now. We'll try ease up. We'll, no, we don't. We have so much morale. You're fine. Yeah, we, we whatever. We have so much morale. Ah, oh, damn. Fuel tank low. Yeah, I know fuel tanks low. All right, so both of these are pretty. Okay, well, we can go to this one, right? The gas is critical. I think, from what I understand, in an emergency, we can scoop from the planet itself, uh, the the star in the middle, but we take a lot of hull damage. All right, let's go to the gas ship. With our remaining dregs of fuel. I think we're at zero? One. Amazing. Oh, we're in a weird position where we can only probe for one. Equipment damaged. That's annoying. Well, is there another thing here? No, that's the only one. All right, can we spend all six to get gas? Yeah, okay, that was a worthy risk, because that puts us at 20, which keeps us going for just a little bit longer. Uh, we don't really care about any of these things because we need gas, right? Let's go to the uh, save location. Okay, we need to keep going and get gas. What a pain. Alright, this one isn't too far away. It's a red giant, I think... Wait, no, it, it doesn't matter what it is, right? Because we're, we're only looking for gas giants. Invite the aliens to dinner. We can't do anything that... Uh, okay, 
It's impossible to progress in the system at the end uh, find a powerful force field. We locate opening of sorts, but it's some kind of alien tunnel maintained by an unfamiliar species. If we proceed, what will we find? We bargain over resources, we get oxygen, fuel but we lose fuel. Yeah. I don't... I think we're going to invite them to dinner. Because <laughs> we have oxygen, we don't really care about morale, but we definitely care about gas. Sure, whatever. Damn it. No, uh, no gas again. We're getting real close to the cosmic center here. One of these can be a civilization where we can just buy a bunch of gas. That'd be great. Oxygen low. Okay, two gas giants. Nice. And a civilization. Can we even find... Wait, hold on. Are we just hard-locked? Because we have four... But how does that work? Hmm. Because we have four gas and we need to travel for four. Fuel tank low. I am moderately concerned because it takes gas to land, right? Hmm. Can we look in our inventory? Is there anything we can get rid of? We are reaching a critical impasse here. Uh, the problem. Oh, well, I can see our, uh, our ship's uh, status here. <clears throat> hey, uh, can, can some of the crew bail me out of this situation? Anybody? Yeah. Please? Somebody. <laughs> Not really. Fuel tank low. We are. Okay, let's see if we can land on the planet. Or do we just crash land? I guess we have to attempt an all or nothing. Here we go! I died. Alright, honestly, that might be a... That might be a good point to end. That puts us back at, um... Uh, roughly where I made the save. And I think if we just have slightly better rolls on gas, we can go, up, go ahead and land. But that will be an attempt for another time. I have filmed way longer than I expected to film, so I got a lot of footage to work through, and I actually do need to release this... Uh, for review today so kind of a cool game uh it's it's very good uh i imagine if you get, like put on some cool tunes and just kind of sit back and kind of chill it's got that right tempo for just you know chilling uh, there isn't i mean i say this as i uh, am lost in a drift forever but it's got a it's got a good like difficulty slash tempo curve for if you just want to play a relaxing game more so than something you really hardcore min max uh, or any of that kind of stuff so, remember, link down in the description if you want to try, download, whatever with this game. Uh, it is 20% off today, October 17th. And uh, yeah, go ahead and check it out. Once again, thanks for watching. Let me know if you want me to play this again. Maybe I'll do it on stream or something like that. Because uh, I've been actually needing something to stream recently. I don't always want to do Space Engineers. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you guys later.